with new variants, slowing vaccination rates in the United States, and the long-term effectiveness of vaccines still unknown. Scientists are looking at booster shots as the next step in fighting the pandemic. So the booster shot is the, uh, the idea that after the primary vaccination, that you might need a, a, an additional uh, a vaccination. And, and the purpose there is to boost your antibodies. We spoke with Dr. John Bagel from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases about whether booster shots are needed and how they'll work. So the antibodies are the proteins in the blood uh, that uh, pr protect us against the virus. Uh, their, their whole purpose is they bind to proteins on, on the virus and sort of neutralize the ability of that virus to get into the cells and cause uh, disease. Uh, so antibody titers is just a way that we are measuring how many uh, antibodies you have. And, and what we know about antibody titers is after one shot, the titers go up. After two shots, you get a much better uh, immune response, and then over time, this that immune response wanes. So as the antibody titers come down, at some point, people are going to start becoming at risk for disease again. And that's when we would want to give uh, a booster shot to make sure the, the population in general doesn't get down to that, that level. Now, exactly when that is, we don't know. Uh, we, we, we don't know exactly when that's going to occur, but we're trying to assimilate pieces of data to support those decisions. If we can use the current vaccines that we have, then that's a much faster process. Uh, if, if we have to go back and, and we have to make new uh, vaccines, then that's a, a slower process because then you have to establish that the new vaccine is uh, similarly protective as the uh, old, old vaccines. That is the study that we would call the mix and match study. People come in with, that have already received Janssen, have already received Pfizer. They come in and we boost them with Moderna, for example. And then we say, is the immune response, the antibody titers that we talked about, are those similar regardless of what you got? Or, or maybe, it's, maybe it's worse. Maybe it's worse tolerability, more side effects. Maybe it's not as good enough uh, immune response, but we really need the data to inform those uh, discussions. Most people had more side effects after the second uh, vaccine. So uh, we assume when, when we give a, a third vaccine as a booster, uh, that you'll generate an immune, uh, a robust immune response. Uh, and to that, uh, you'll get those, those symptoms, that, that fatigue, uh, those chills, uh, those uh, what we would call constitutional symptoms. We and other groups are uh, constantly monitoring the variants uh, and then also testing antibody titers uh, from, from our studies to all these variants. The concern is that there will be an emergence of a variant that doesn't uh, neutralize uh, as well. Uh, but right now, all the variants are, are neutralized by the, the antibodies from the current vaccines.